Welcome to the 14th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, I will show you an example, a circuit simulation example using these three techniques forward oiler method, backward oiler method, and trapezoidal rule. So, we have to uh, solve for V1 in the following circuit. We have to plot the voltage V1 in this RC network. So, here Vs is a sinusoidal voltage source of amplitude 1 and frequency 50. So, omega is 2 pi into 50, 314 value of R1 is 1 ohm, R2 is 2 ohm and the C is 10 millifarad. So we can see how to simulate uh, this using, how to solve this transient simulation problem using these, te these three techniques. So by applying, K if you apply KCL at this node, we will get a differential equation. So the current through this R1 resistance is V1 minus Vs by R1. So where Vs is Vm sin omega t. Then current through R2 is simply V1 by R2. Current through this capacitance C is C into dV1 by dt. So by rearranging, we will get this differential equation. Now how to solve this differential equation? So first we will write it in this form. dx by dt is equal to function of x comma t. So dV1 by dt is taken on the left hand side and all other terms are pushed to the right hand side. Suppose V1 is equal to X, then we can write DX by DT. V1 is replaced by a dummy variable X. DX by DT is equal to Vm by R1 C into sin omega T minus 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 into 1 by C into X. So this part forms the function F of X comma T. And left hand side is this differential DX by DT. Now we can uh, solve it using forward Euler technique. In forward Euler method, the general expression is xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus function evaluated at xn tn into step size h. So here I have substituted the value of function at xn comma tn. So the function is this one. So here t is replaced by tn and this x is replaced by xn. That's it. That is how we can solve uh, it using forward Euler. Then the backward or in the backward Euler technique xn plus 1 is given by xn plus the function evaluated at xn plus 1 and tn plus 5. So in the expression for the function, the function is this one. Here you replace t by tn plus 1 and x by xn plus 1. So if I substitute it here, uh, this is tn plus 1 means tn plus 1 is actually tn plus h. So that Tn plus H is substituted here. So Tn plus 1 is Tn plus H. So here T is replaced by Tn plus H and X is replaced by Xn plus 1. Now, uh, there is an important observation here. We have Xn plus 1 on both LHS and RHS. So, X, uh, so for evaluating Xn plus 1 on the right hand side, uh, there is again Xn plus 1 is appearing. So it is an implicit method. So we have to bring this xn plus 1 to the left hand side. So if you collect all the terms of xn plus 1 on the LHS, you will get an expression like this. So we can divide the whole, uh, both the left hand side and the right hand side by this factor. 1 plus 1 by R1 plus R1 into 1 by R2 into 1 by C into H. So if you do that, you will get the final expression like this. xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus this quantity divided by this factor. So, uh, this expression can be used for solving, x, uh, the calculating the value of x1 from x0, then x2 from x1 like that. Then in the case of trapezoidal method, the equation, general equation is xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus h by 2 into function evaluated at xn comma tn plus function evaluated at xn plus 1 comma tn plus 1. So, I have substituted the value of f at x and t n and t n plus h and x n plus 1. t n plus 1 is replaced by t n plus h. So if you uh, observe the previous equation, you can see on both LHS and RHS you have x n plus 1 appearing. So you have to bring the x n plus 1 terms to the left. Okay, x n plus 1 terms are collected on the left side. And if you write the ex expression for xn plus 1, you will get a lengthy expression like this. So this expression can be used to calculate the value of 
next sample xn plus 1 from the previous value xn so i have implemented this in matlab so we will uh, see how to use matlab to solve the above equations in the module 4 uh, now i will show you the results here so in backward oiler technique in both both uh, sorry the three methods backward oiler forward oiler and trapezoidal methods are simulated here for the initial value v1 of 0 is equal to 0 okay so this is evaluated for and the step size h is equal to 0 0.5 millisecond okay. so for 0 0.5 millisecond step size uh, we will get the result like this so uh, the graphs looks almost similar there is no instability problem in all the three methods here for this step size now for capacitance value equal to 0.3 millifarad, we have changed the capacitance value. Previously it was 10 millifarad. Now we have changed it to 0.3 millifarad and simulated. So for this value, the there is a change in the appearance of the voltage V1. So for backward Euler method and a trapezoidal method, we will get almost uh, same solution. Whereas for uh, forward Euler method with the C is equal to 0.3 millifarad, there is an instability problem. We can see that V1 grows, uh, grows up and it, uh, it is not following the exact solution. There is an instability issue. The method is unstable for C is equal to 0.3 millifarad. So, uh, this is how we can use uh, forward Euler, backward Euler, and a trapezoidal rule for uh, method for. Uh, solving a transient simulation problem so first we have to formulate the differential equations associated with the problem then we can use the differential equations we can solve the differential equations using either this forward oiler backward oiler or trapezoidal oiler. so for larger step size this forward oiler method may become unstable whereas these two methods will give uh, stable results but the solutions will be very close enough to the exact solution when the step size is very small when it is very small. Thank you. We will continue in the next video.